Now, next up, we have the other one wooing us with her fabulosity, which is at Jill, My Jill Mom IF, Jill Patty, Jill Johnson Patty, momatforward.com. Bring it up. <laughs> Okay, pool jumping is like social media. How many of you, by the raise of hands, have jumped in a pool? Woo! Now, how many of you have jumped in a pool with your clothes on? Come on! My pool jumping adventures began with the lovely Amy Geezy in Denver in 2009. We went up to the rooftop pool after a party and jumped in spontaneously with all of our clothes on. And that got me thinking that there are a few different kinds of people who jump in the pool. There are those who sit on the outside looking in. They don't really jump. They just watch other people splashing around, having a lot of fun. They love it. They have a, lot, a great time, but they're not in the water. And then there are those that sit on the edge. They're socializing. They're having a great time. They're dipping their toes in the water. They're gauging the temperature. They're loving life, but they are safe on the edge. And then there are those that make the grand splash. They cannonball, they fully immerse themselves in social media. They've got Twitter accounts, they've got Facebook pages galore. They have more than one blog. They're on every space they can get their hands on. Regardless of where you're at, whether you're, whether you're sitting back watching other people on the edge, dipping your toe in, or you're cannonballing, there's five ways that you can jump in or dive deeper this, week at, this weekend at Evo. The first one is to brave the cold. You gotta risk sometimes. So regardless of where you're at, you gotta take some risks. Last fall, I needed to hire someone with a special skill set. I had no idea who to reach out to. So I put it out to the Twitter sphere. And I said, how can I find this person? Two girls who I'd never met got back to me and said, I have the perfect person for you. I hired Jen Tilly as a contractor, hired her as a full-time employee a month later, and five months later met her in real life. Best hiring decision ever, thanks to Twitter. The second thing is to be creative. And creativity doesn't just have to be for the positive stuff. It can turn a negative situation into a really positive situation. Let's take the Bronx Zoo, for example. They had a little cobra who escaped. So what did they do? Did they let that turn into a PR nightmare? No. They got online, they created the, a Twitter account for the cobra, the Bronx Zoo's cobra. And look at that tweet, didn't they get creative? and everyone loves to read that. 200,000 followers overnight. Number three, be timely. Twitter and social media is great for the news. We can get information at an unprecedented rate. You can go to share it or you can go to get it. And the recent example that I'd like to share is of the Playboy Mansion. There's a little outbreak there. People started to share after a party and one of the guys found a common thread, researched online, diagnosed it, and now the CDC is using social media for tracking. <laughs> then we've got number four, to engage. What is better than building relationships? How many of you are here because you have made friends in social media and you wanted to see your friends? Awesome. Engaging is fabulous. Let's a little Evo example. We posted a Facebook status update about Bush's black bean brownies. Try to say that five times fast. Jen Price, an attendee, said, hey, I want to make some black bean brownies. Bush's took the opportunity to engage with her. She responded back. Evo conference closed the loop. That's some serious engagement. Number five, go to new depths. Regardless of what you are doing in social media today, you can always go deeper. An example that I love to share is one of Aveda. They were doing amazing things last fall. They were in a lot of different spaces, but they were primarily reaching out to green bloggers and fashion bloggers. I am neither. Then they said, hey, we'd love to work with a mom blogger. How about you join us for a little trip to India? After I started bawling for a few minutes, because it was like my only item on my bucket list, I said, sure. I've been working with them now for nine months, and they're massively making inroads into that space. The benefits of social media, for those of you who are maybe on the sidelines, customer loyalty, resources, answers to your questions, and amazing relationships. Oh, and it may increase profit for you, if you're a business. So regardless of whether you are sitting on the outskirts, looking in, watching people have a fun time splashing around, you're dipping your toe in, or you're, you think you're fully immersed, but you could expand, jump in and dive deeper. But most importantly, don't do it alone. Take a friend. <laughs> You've got a long time, two days, 
that's a long time in social media, right? To make a lot of friends. So choose who you're going to participate with and engage with this weekend. Have a really great time at the Evo conference. And hopefully we can all dive in a pool together, literally, this weekend. You can find me at momatforward.com, at jillmomif on Twitter, or momatforward on Twitter. And I'm here at the Evo conference. Have a great weekend.